Um, got a blue. We've got a crew type, yeah. Correct. Correct, Amundo. Hey. My close friend is going to be Harker, a jailbird, so I just know somebody who's like in and out of prison constantly. Oh, Austin, you weren't here when I picked my guy's, um, my guy's friend and foe. Well, maybe, I don't know, part, we should probably, like, just go through the character sheet, like, for each of us. Okay, and, uh, before we get to the gang together. Alright, I'll start recording. Well, no, but I mean, you know, like, just with stuff, because, like, I don't know, I've probably missed things about All right. characters, I don't know if I've, you know, I don't know what I have and haven't said. Um, I'll start, so, Rothgal Fawn, alias the Right Honorable. My enemy that. will be Clyra, a tavern owner. <laughs> Um, he's tall. I I gave him the look tall, imposing. I'm gonna give him like thick great coat. He walks around in a big kind of woolen coat most of the time. Heritage Eruvian, background noble, vice purveyor. Um, does that mean that technically the guy, the people who purvey his vice, is his family? <laughs> still haven't named his. I still haven't named the kid either. Like his father's, I named Sidari after um an Iranian. Sidari. Sidari. Yeah, after Sidari. An Iranian diplomat, and um, I don't. I could not think of a name for his kid. What was the diplomat's grandchild's name? He didn't have any descendants. <clears throat> What was his grandfather's name? <laughs> Did he not have any ancestors? He probably had ancestors, you know? Probably. Probably. Hard I'm to say. giving it 90% odds that he had ancestors. So, if we're, if we're planning on dealing with ghosts, I could take ghost voice, which is, you know, the secret method to interact with a ghost and demon as if it were a real person, a normal human. Regardless of how wild or fair. Oh, well, we could still communicate with them and we're not going to be dealing drugs i assume to wild and feral demons probably not uh, no i'll take mesmerism when you sway someone you may cause them to forget that it happened until the next time they interact with you um yeah obligation what should the all right what actually should the, wait no no i'm thinking like looking into a mirror you can always tell when someone is lying to you Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. Alright, I've named the son. Both the son and the dad have way more Eruvian slash Middle Eastern names than he does. Like, his name is Roth. His dad is named Sadari, and his son is named Abdol. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> I think I'm gonna guess that the mother named Roth. Special ability, that's my name. Before, you know, the whole nobility came crashing down on oh, way. Who was the well, mother? There you go. She I got was a um, an Akarosi socialite, and that basically crashed the family, the family's reputation after that. Because he was born out of wedlock. It was a, it was cheating. Scandalous. Scandalous. I've essentially got my character now. And that's why, despite noble background, he didn't have a terribly prosperous upbringing. Well, not for long, anyway. I've created Johnny Daring, alias Dare. <laughs> oh, but, but what, what are your, um, like, stat- what, what have you specced into? Uh, let's see. No, 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 I, Snake. Uh, Oh. What, what have I specced into? Yeah, what what what's your build? Like what what have you got? What are you gonna be contributing? What am I gonna be, doing? Am I gonna be contributing to, to yeah. through? I'm the talker. I'm the guy who deals with other factions. So I'm gonna be the guy who's trying to set us up supply lines, find us some allies, keep our enemies nice and soothed, and threaten them when things go terribly wrong. So I'm specced into uh. I've got a two in consort, a two in sway, one in command, one in study, and one in survey. Wow, we have, like, oh man, I just made this guy. I have Consort, Sway, Attune, Command, and Survey. God damn it. 
Oh, boy. And I just styled myself after the Fonz, too. <laughs> so we've gone from an ultra-violent crew to an ult to a very, very strong talky crew. Oh, well, you haven't met my character yet. Yeah, you're gonna blow I mean, shit up for us. Um, well, I mean, we can still I'm basically planning on being, like, uh, you know, the cool, calm, collected guy who... Uh, you know, always, no, fellas, fellas, let's avoid violence here. My guy's kind of like that as well, but in a lot more kind of, it's, you know, it's in your best interest to not get fucking violent, like, a lot more stern, rather than cool and collected. I can make him a bit more hot-blooded. You'd be good cop, bad cop, yeah. Yeah. You can make him a bit more hot-blooded. Also, and also, I have a tune, so I can talk, so I can get them ghosts. Uh, I might change a few things then, just to move us around a bit. So I start with two in consort, which obviously. My, let's see, my her- my heritage: Akaros, middle class family with six brothers. Background: academic, delinquent student, unofficial leader of a loose band of rebellious students. All right. Vice: gambling, poker. <laughs> poker. Yes. So, heritage, Aruvian, mixed race, mixed race with Akarosi mother. A bit Akarosi or Akarosian. Oh dear. Doesn't matter, it's fantasy. Uh, background, noble, disgraced house. So, his dad was a uh, dip. His, his dad was a diplomat, or would that be, um. So, the term representative. Like a Ruvian, um... Ambassador? Ambassador. That's the term I was looking for. So his dad was like a Ruvian ambassador, and the mother was a socialite from a noble house. Well, this is like that that sniper game. The, the spy. Death to spies, I think. No, that was a different one. What was the... Um, shit, what was that game? The Monopoly Man game. What the... This sounds like it should be completely familiar to me, but I am lost. Ben, the, it gets what? More conf- the Monopoly Man game. Ah, uh, what about it? What was what's it called? It was like the sniper game with the Monopoly Man. Oh, uh, Spy Party. Spy Party. That was it. Hmm. Yeah. Name Roth Galforn. Um, and I've also got foresight. Two times per score, you can assist a teammate. Tell us how you prepared for this. <sighs> so I got some bullshit going on. As for. So what skills again do you have again, Neo? What? What skills? I have. Do you- uh. I have, uh, where is it? I have everything in resolve. Oh, okay. And one, and, and one in, I have one in survey, but yeah. Two consort, two sway, command, one command, one attune, and one survey. <coughs> two consort, two sway. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna knock my sway down to one, and I'm gonna put it, um, I'm gonna put it in finesse. Wow. See the particulars of finesse. What page is that? Um, I've started. I've started. Oh, Doctor Death. Um, the, the, their name back in the academic world was um. Milo Crusher. They, you know, they, they, they were scientists and academic, um, you know, worked at a, univer- a research lab university. They, they were a bioengineer, bioche- you know, stu- studying life, stu- uh, particularly like neurochemistry, stuff like that, you know, the effects of drugs and all sorts of alchemy on the body, the mind, 
in our system. But what, one of his big goals that he was working towards was trying to, you know, make a Frankenstein monster, basically. You know, if, if there are, like, spirits <laughs> leave a body, could a body work without a spirit, essentially? Um... Alias, but but so the, the, there was a mistake at the lab. Things went bad. Maybe experimented on a lab mate. That's actually the um, enemy I have, Veldrin, which is a psychonaut, perhaps an addict too poisoned to ever return to lucid thought, perhaps an explorer of psychedelic realms beyond mere mortal experience. Basically, you know. Um, Dr. Death, or then known as Milo Crusher, experimented on LabMate and basically destroyed their mind and, you know, got kicked out of the academic community for it. Now their Dr. Death look ambiguous, then bony, grimy, hunched, twitchy, and wiry. Um, hood and breathing mask. I, I should, So breathing mask, like, they themselves have fucked themselves up a lot and have, like, you know... Like a map, like goggles, but you know, a breathing mask with like tubes and whatnot in the lungs to breathe properly, regulate breathing. Um, heavy cloak, scarf, rags and tatters, work boots, work trousers. I think they, they, they have like you know, a gibbous top hat, like the fold out top hats. They don't wear it all the time, but when they're not trying to be stealthy, full Dr. Death. You know, the big heavy coat, the mask, the breathing tubes, top hat, that sort of thing. Spiky gauntlets, you know. Hunched over, looking like a rather villainous character. Uh, they have one study, one survey, two tinker, two skirmish, and one wreck. Then um, also artificer is their thing, and... Once I level up, I'm going to take Alchemist. That's basically, they, they, like, functionally, this is, in addition to, you know, being able to research stuff, projects, that sort of thing, you know, drugs and the like, they can, um, combat-wise, they're pretty powerful. They have, can bring along a bandolier of... Like chemicals and whatnot, and some of those are pretty fucking insane. So, <clears throat> um, I suppose I'll go next. So, my bloke's name is Rolf Galforn, alias the Right Honorable. I was gonna say add the Right Honorable one, but that doesn't seem correct in the slightest. It just doesn't. The right no. Honorable. Um, the right Honorable is pretty good. He's this absolutely huge Ir- Iruvian bloke. Like incredibly wide, incredibly tall, walks around in a um, a thick greatcoat as it's listed. That does not, you know, it helps a little bit with keeping up this image. Um, very, very broad-shouldered. Absolutely um, keeps a we- like well-kept hair and trimmed beard. He likes to kind of keep up some noble appearance, despite the fact that um, he is not considered a noble. <coughs> He comes from his de father was an ambassador from Aru- um, is it Aruvia. It's just Aruvia. Um, and his mother is an Akarosi socialite. And, you know, when he was born, that kind of collapsed the reputation of both his dad and the family in question. So he's uh comes from both families, and he's quite bitter about this. He sees himself as someone who was just denied noble heritage through absolutely nothing he did. So, he wants to make a lot of money, he doesn't care how many people have to be made miserable, and he just uh, wants to get his elderly dad and his um, young son uh, you know, get them a nice a nice place to live, and he can spend the rest of his days in a stupor not really having to work. Uh, mm. As for what he's specced into, as for what he can do, what he brings to the table, uh, he's a spider, so he's the one who does all the talking, tries to handle relations. He still thinks he's the one who should handle all that. Special ability, foresight. He can, twice in a score, um, help you guys out at no stress to himself. So he can assist you, so he's always prepared. Tries to keep an eye over everything. One study, one survey, one prowl. Two command, two consort. 
his basic modus operandi, his MO is just to kind of wander into a place, <coughs> and if he looks like he knows what he's doing, no one's really going to question him. Who's going to question the giant bloke in a fucking thick coat who looks like he could snap you in half? Despite that, not really that great in a scuffle, but he can handle himself. He's got the build for it, if not the ability. Yeah, that's basically Roth at the moment. I will flesh things out as we go. Oh, I forgot. Oh, oh, I, I, I forgot my vice. I realized. Oh, um, so did I. <laughs> no, you. No, you said yours, which is kind of. I didn't point me. out that they were a vice, which is just oh. taking care of his elderly father and young boy. As for the mother, she is missing or dead. We do not know. She disappeared a while back, and it's not really Roth's first priority at the moment to find her. <laughs> But just my 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 vice was stupor, which intense inhaled drugs like plug directly into the you know just put them directly in the breathing mask. Let's go. I I, I for like purveyor I wrote down us baby, but I, I, I reading that back I read it as like U S baby and was pretty confused. <laughs> He's getting high on our own supply, Neo. How do you feel about this? Oh, well, let me introduce my guy. Uh, Johnny Daring, alias Dare, was born to a upper-middle-class family in Akaros, eldest of six brothers. He was always a wild child, uh, a rebel, a rebel of sorts, so his family, not wanting him to tarnish their attempts to break into the high class, decided to uh, send him off to send him off to an academy, see if they can't see, see if they can't get some sense to that boy. Once he, as he arrived, uh, Johnny quickly distinguished himself as the rebel of the school, uh, became a delinquent student and uh, this, became a delinquent student and established himself as the unofficial leader of a loose band of other such rebellious students who didn't want to be there, didn't want to be slaves to the system, man. And while he was there, he he dis- while he was there, he discovered his natural affinity for the spirit world and his and his penchant for swindling people. He discovered he had quite a knack for he discovered he had quite a knack for interacting with others and getting the most out of every interaction he had, including an uncanny ability to tell whenever anyone was lying to him. Once he once he managed to get himself out of that out of that wretched academy, he decided he'd try he'd try his hand at being he decided he'd try his hand at being a as being a drug dealer, and he found and he found a good amount of success. So much so that he decided to he decided to head for the he decided to head for the holy grail of crime here in Duskfall. His vice is his vice isn't anything special. He just likes to gamble. Poker is his main vice. Uh, the purveyor being a just the back a back room of a local tavern where people tend to gather. He must be a bullshit poker player. One of his literal abilities is just he can tell when people are lying to him. <laughs> yes, and yeah, he's uh, also specced. Uh, in talking to people and being a social character, but you know he, he, uh, he that's more with consorting with people, swaying with them, less being intimidating and commanding them or having a commanding presence. And he has, uh, and he can also, uh, if he con- he can also if he concentrates hard enough, he can he he can attune to the to the spirits. I've just realized something as well, Neo. Is his alias a pun? Dare. Dare? Yeah, wasn't that an anti-drug campaign? Yes. Drug and alcohol resistance education. Yes, it is. Was that intentional? Yes. Nice. Nice. The more I think about it, yeah, just, like, forget the, the hood. No, Dr. Death just always has the top hat and, like, you know, just, like, a scarf and collar pulled high to hide the Breather. Is he literally like one of the Doctor Who guys? What? One of the Doctor Who guys has a top hat and an enormous scarf. Oh, no, 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 no. He also has like a big, like, 
cloak. <sighs> he doesn't wear a shirt, or, yeah, they don't wear a shirt. They have, like, bandages and some sort of, like, rags, but, you know, mostly just the bandoliers and the spiky gauntlets. Oh, I didn't say when I was introducing Roth, and now we're getting really out of order. Um, also, we should. Did we all introduce our allies? Oh, I I, I didn't say ally. I, I said my rival, but no. Oh, okay. Well, my ally is um. Do 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 do. Where are you? The fuck are you under? Man, I'm friends with a jailbird and enemies with a tavern owner. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, my friend is Jaron, a blue coat archivist. Um, basically, I'm gonna say that Roth kind of managed to get him out of a jam once. Because um, Jaren is a bit shady. He likes to skive. He likes to abuse his position as a blue coat. He knows where patrols are. He knows he moves a few things on the side. And Roth helped him out a couple of times. Basically did look out for him. As for enemy, Salia, an information broker. As to why they're enemies, that one goes back a ways. But essentially... Um, Rofe was kind of undercutting her. Rofe found out a few things that she knew and basically passed it on for cheaper. So, he undercut her once, and now she wants to get vengeance at some point. And that happened a while back, so... Essentially, he tries to stay under the radar when it comes to Salia. Yeah. Oh, me. Yeah, um, there's, there's pictures of Dr. Death right there. No, uh, Doctor uh, Doctor Death is like more one. like Borderlands Psycho. You should just take the image from Boiling Point of that <sighs> game's Doctor Death and just be this old bloke. I mean, you might as well get the uh, the scientist from uh, Killing Floor too. Actually, you know who's kind of close? Um, Scarecrow from the Arkham games. Okay. I am desperately trying to find character image. And coming up short. But like I said, basically like... Kind of like the Borderlands Psycho, but a bit more like Diesel Punk. And spiky, but then in like a top hat and cloak. Oh, you could be Dr. Hans. With clothes. No, oh, Dr. Hans is closer, yeah. Good are you just trying to photo? Are you just trying to Photoshop like your uh, character pick or something, Eric? Yes, I am. Nice. Wait. I've, okay, this isn't work related. Just getting this angry over that. <laughs> very passionate man. He's very. No, passionate. just Photoshop <laughs> can be a real bitch sometimes, and it's true. Okay, Swede. Who's your character, and what's his story? What does he do? Good answer. I like Perfect. it. <laughs> Very ah. inventive. Yes. Ah, yes. I'm playing Gordon Freeman. Gordon Freeman. My Sherman Julian Ralph Presley Myers Koff. <laughs> Pushing <Good> 50. <laughs> <Names>. <laughs> Dementia has not set in yet. <laughs> no, he, he's, an, he's an old hunter. Used to hunt in the wilds, you know. Now, but uh, now he's decided to settle down a bit. 
come back to his roots, come back where he was born, and you know, hunted mo- and decided, you know, he has he wants a new game, a more dangerous game, man. Nice. What's he spec then? <clears throat> Once he got his action points. He got two in hunt, two in study, two in survey, and one in prowl. Ooh. What's his vice? Hunting. Nice. He's a very he one track mind of a man. Who's his <laughs> friend and who's his enemy? His his friends. He he has his friend is Christopher, the gunsmith. Old friend of his. And then he has his arch rival, Sir Reginald von Bloomfield, a rival hunter. A noble rival hunter. Pot, big pawns, that one. <laughs> okay, cool. Now we just gotta gang create. Gotta create nice. a gang. So, okay, we'll go back to the page. Regardless of how a crew comes to be formed, they all have one thing in common. They exist to create a legacy that will last beyond the founding members. When you start a crew with your partners, you intend to build something that, hopefully, will live on past the scope of your own criminal careers. This is why we have a separate character sheet for the crew, tracking its development, growth, and influence. So let's see. First thing, determine crew type. You guys were going to be hawkers, right? The yeah. vice dealers. Yeah. Execute product procurement, covert sales, shows of force, and social events. We can throw parties. Yes, true. we actually do throw parties. So, your crew begins with two coin in its coffers. You are tier zero with weak hold and zero rep. Nice. Okay, so what's the first thing we do with this? Well, I'm going so, to deposit two coin into this. Nice. Into so the first thing. thing, the first thing we need to do is choose an initial reputation and layer. So let's see here. Initial reputation. You earn XP when you bolster your crew's reputation. So um, here are your options: uh, ambitious, brutal. Daring, honorable, professional, savvy, subtle, and strange. Maybe strange. I like strange or savvy. I'm yeah, I'm more savvy. Yeah, I kind of have a fun. feeling that's not true for most of <laughs> us, half of us. No, actually, no. I'm gonna go with strange. Savvy. I'm gonna go with strange because ghosts. Okay. Yeah. Ghost. Alright, so you guys are interested in the strangeness that's inhabiting the city. Oh yeah. <sighs> Sounds that's, like a good game. Yeah, whenever your crew is acting strange or deals with the strange, crew marks XP. So, the next thing we need to talk about is a layer. <coughs> so either we can choose one of these ones listed or you can create your own but because you guys are tier zero it's got to be like a fucking hole in the wall it's Um, guys i think we should literally have a hole in the wall i'm thinking how about we have this kind of old hobo shack beneath a bridge (laughs) (laughs) actually it's funny you mentioned that one of the uh, options is a rickety tin roofed shack perched <laughs> on a rooftop. Actually, oh, I was going to say instead of perched in a rooftop, I kind of like the idea of like there was an alleyway between two buildings, and we just sort of put up some like tin and cardboard walls and whatnot, and like sort of ramshackled a fake building between two real buildings, <laughs> and it's basically just an alley with a wall put up in front of it. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Wait, we- Eric, do it. Eric, do we still have a trash can in there? Or a trash container? Probably. And do people from the building still, you know, like they did in... uh, It's not a trash container. It's called a refrigerator suite. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) No, but do do the fucking people from the other buildings, do they, like they did back in the day, do they just take the fucking, uh, I don't know, the food that's left, leftovers and shit, and just pour it down in the alley? 
Mm. How so, else do we because, get our because food? It, because if they do, we should have a contraption to catch up that spare okay. food. I mean, it's okay. food! Free food! Alright, okay. how about how about what I've put down then? An improvised <coughs> tin and cardboard building, uncomfortably lodged in an alleyway, bisecting two buildings. Yes. Actually, yes. I'm gonna change the word building to hovel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, the next thing you guys need to pick is your home district. We have the on the roll twenty. We have the map, um, and you're looking at the districts on the right hand side. And you can uh, below the districts. There's the uh, the wealth value. So you kind of get a picture of uh, how things are sorted. <laughs> I think crow's foot is probably that's the that's the default one. It su it suggests. I mean, oh my god! I'd god. I'd probably agree with that. Guys, 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 I found it. I fucking found our home. Look at what? this shit. Look, I'm linking them both in the roll 20 years old. Jesus that. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, I think we're in Crow's Foot. Um, I feel I that Arrowcleft <laughs> could be good for us. Listen to this. Barrowcleft is the home of the laborers and overseers of the Ministry of Preservation who attend the radiant energy farms of Doskfall. It is a dusty Ooh. rural district with simple wooden buildings, only one or two stories, and wide dirt roads to a actually wide dirt roads to a kind of yeah. Place. So that could that that could work. Uh, actually, ooh, how about Char Hollow? A maze of tenements and squalid houses. And yeah, like just between like two apartment buildings. That's There's about more right information for towards the back of the book, so if you want to know something extra detailed, let me know. Yeah, but I think Char Hollow is pretty good. <laughs> Any comments? Objections? I forgot to turn my mic back on. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm cool with Char Hollow. I think we should be in the sheets. Um, if you go to page 260, the sheets yeah, is the hard. main area. Like, it is a bustling district. Alright. How about you, Eric? Um. Yeah. I, I guess I agree, yeah. Yeah, that works. I, I like, yeah, it works. Yes. So... Where would, well, actually, let me ask, where would, like, the academic area B or the closest thing to it where would like scientists or you know sure. study halls things Maybe like that Brightstone <laughs> uh, b -b 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 or where would hospitals be um. <clears throat> I don't necessarily need to be there but I think or it, it would be helpful to be near I there. Think, there, there I is think a university a in yeah, there's university in Charter Hall. The city's civic offices and a hub for shops, artisans, and commerce. Maybe six towers. Oh no, not six towers. Formerly rich. Um. Oh, if six towers is formerly rich, that could really work, though. I'm not sure where six towers. Is. It's all the way over on the right. On the right. Oh yeah. No, we'll be right next to Charter Hall. Oh, so is Char Hollow. That's true. We'd we'll just be on the opposite side. <sighs> Yeah. So here's here's some interesting things about Six Towers. It's moderately wealthy. It has like no security and safety. It has moderate criminals and is extremely occult. That sounds Ooh. good for all of our needs. That does. All right. Yeah. Let's let me look at the page on Six Towers. Let's um, see. Uh, seventy-six. Two seventy-six. Cheers. I've finally uploaded a picture for Dr. Death. So, nice. let's see here. Here's the scene for Six Towers. Bits of trash blown by a cold <laughs> wind that across empty streets, illuminated only by a few still-working street lamps and the campfires of squatters. The shutters and doors of abandoned buildings moan, creak, and bang in a haunted chorus. Residents hustle by, heads down, clutching spirit vein charms close to their breasts. I love it. This place yep. is haunted as fuck. No, that, that sounds good. ideal Very for good. Dr. Death. Actually, yeah, also, and, and for also, me, definitely. I'm also thinking we could change our layer a bit based on this, because this is a very... Looking at the picture of it, these are 
big palatial estates yes, spaced very far are. apart with aqueducts running in the background. So I'm thinking <laughs> that's that's Silkshore. Oh, oh, that's Silkshore in the back. Okay. Yeah. Next what, page. What I'm thinking is instead of our layer is like one of several kind of apart like an apartment within this old estate that's crumbling and just filled with squatters. We've co-opted our own little corner of it, essentially. Actually, what you you could do is actually take one of the towers. So like if you look at the picture, um they're like abandoned uh what's the word? Victorian what? mansions. Yeah. Mm. So, what do you guys think? Make the layer kind uh, of like an old holo- an old building that we've <sighs> basically taken over. Yeah, yeah. Well, one that's a little haunted. I think well, we yeah, can go with that. They're all haunt- They're all haunted. This yeah, is yeah, all definitely, rich definitely, people's definitely, Victorian yeah. manners. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, if, definitely. But if we have a tower, that's where that's where Sherman will put down his lair. He's gonna ha- look out over there. Maybe just so he has a good shot over the whole area. Okay. What, what would be like the wherever the base would be most like could open up like something and get some lightning in there i think would be ideal for dr death so you could you could probably take the top floor of a like one of the mansions they turned into like squatter apartments yeah all right so the top floor of an abandoned manor yeah the top floor and attic of an abandoned manor there you go I'm pretty happy happy with my image for Dr. Death. It right. was way more obnoxious than it needs to be, but... You oh, did whoops. it. God oh, damn it. I always do that. <laughs> Alright, so, um, just here's my new description, then. The top floor and attic of an abandoned manor, crumbling and in disrepair. Johnny claims he can hear the ghosts of old inhabitants. Nice. There we go. Yeah. And we're in Six Towers. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> that image is hilarious. Yeah, it's Dr. Death. <laughs> oh my god. Eric. Yes. Hey. So what the wacky scientist accent are you running with? I I I I I I think you need to do something that you can have like Huh, it could be uh, like this. <laughs> Well, he does. He does that now. There's a thing. He does have like a breather mask on. Maybe he does. You're like a jazzed up metro cop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is establish your hunting grounds. So uh, let's see. Ah, my hunting grounds. Yes. Yes, my hunting. Uh, they're not actual hunting grounds for us. They're sales. Targets. So uh, I'm, is, so, I'm, I'm sorry, Snake. It might not be sales for you. targets. This is yeah, the targets. area you usually target for your scores, and you know it well. Your hunting grounds don't have to be in the same district as your lair. The area is small, only three or four city blocks, but it's an intrusion on someone. The entire city <sighs> is divided among larger, stronger factions. I'll tell you which faction claims the area, and you decide how to deal with them. I feel we should. Here, this area. How about here. the night market? Hang on, hang on. How about the night market? Hang on, this I've got to. It's I'm going to. I'm going to Hawkers right now, so we can look at what our, <sighs> what our things are. Because we have sale. No, because for us it's sales territory, and the yeah, idea it's is sales territory. Yeah, and the idea is choose a favored operation type. Sale, yep. a significant transaction with a special buyer of illicit product. Supply, a transaction to acquire new product or establish a new supplier. Show of force, make an example of an enemy to dominate territory. Or socialize, improve customer and or supplier relations with a social event. I say sale. 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 Uh, sale. sale. I, like, I, I like the idea, though, of us. Uh, we, we haven't established exactly what, like vice we're running. I do like the idea of just like <laughs> selling pizza or hot dogs or <laughs> <laughs> like that guy in the hot dog district in Dilbert. Okay. I-, I think we should sell our drugs in the night market. Where on the sheet can I put down, you know Ugh, it doesn't fucking Like maybe at this maybe at like this little corner here. Oh, who who runs that market. place? 
Oh, hunting grounds. I found it. Okay. Does so anybody run here's the, uh, this area? Here's the gist. Here's the rundown on the night market. Electric lights in a riot of colors advertise the market stalls of the vendors. Several devout alkalites bow in silent prayer at the statues of the Night Queen, the district's adopted forgotten god. The city's elite hide behind masks, slip into the underground to partake of strange pleasures in the private clubs. I like that. Yeah, that sounds like where we would sell yeah, whatever yeah, we're definitely. selling. Yeah, so definitely. here's here's the here's the problem though. It's got a pretty high security and safety. Damn. Damn. We're just a gonna challenge. <laughs> but can any of us really sneak though? Well, me and you both have prowl. Yeah, too, but <laughs> but that's kind of the problem. We've still got <laughs> several people who can't prowl selling drugs. Well, that's what that's what team moves are for. Mm? Yeah, that's fair. That's a team. Yeah. Uh, I um think so. I put down sales territory, sales at the night market. So you were doing sales in the night market. Yeah. I think I mm, nah. I was about to say supply. But we're doing stuff in the night market. Maybe we shouldn't be tangling with the uh the engineering core this time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, like, I feel like engineer. we should establish what we're selling. Yeah. I figured. I figured it would be drugs. I figured yeah, it'd be drugs. Like drug dealers. Yeah, drugs. That's what I'm saying. It's drugs. Yeah. Selling drugs to the poor fools, well, making them docile, you. making the hunt easier. I mean, the um, general actually, idea is we're selling whatever the hell we get our hands on, but drugs are first and foremost our yeah. They're our, you know, our deal. Yeah. Yeah. Lawyer's crafting. Okay. Because I can make, like, um... What do you call them? So we've got that settled, Austin. What's next? What's next? Well, we need to figure out whose territory you're stealing. Alright, who's in the who's night there? market? Yeah. Who we got? Who are we picking on? Where are we at? What's our mm. home game? What's well, there's our always, there's always the hive. But you don't want to piss off the hive. Says you. Okay, look, the hive is a tier four gang. <laughs> they, they are the a guild of legitimate weenies. merchants. Fuck them. <laughs> okay, we, take yeah, them. we probably shouldn't fight a tier four right away. We got the shit kicked out of us by a tier two last time. <laughs> Uh, okay. Died super hard. Fine. Mm. Okay, Black Lotus. That's. Oh, back in one sec. It has a list of like drugs. I mean, we could probably, you know, diversify. <laughs> My character's vice, though, is definitely Black Lotus. <laughs> what about it? Ah, here we go. You might have stolen land from the Wraiths. They're just a tier two gang. Mysterious crew of masked thieves and spies. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fucking nerds. Absolutely, that's what we're doing. Alright, so you're stealing land from the Wraiths. These are, um, the drugs I can make, by the way. Oh, man. <gasps> Hello! <sighs> Fuck, Quicksilver's level goddamn four. I'm back. All right, we're, we're, we're stealing from the raids. We're the stealing raids. from the who? The land, we're stealing the land from the raids. The Wraiths a are here. a um, group of masked thieves and spies. What page are they on? Um, <laughs> past the city districts. Okay, so you've done that. So what next? What so now? 297. Okay. Let me just make a bookmark here. 
So we need to figure out how you dealt with the wraiths. Did you pay them off? Did you? Uh, so you could either give them one coin in exchange for them giving you room to work. One or, coin? That sells cheap. Let's do or, it. You can pay the faction two coin as a show of respect and gain plus one status. Or you say, fuck them, keep your money and take one minus one status. Mm. Mm. I, I don't think be okay with two coin, giving them our coin. Two coins? Do you think we're yeah. made of coin? We live in a fucking round up place. Do we even have. It's an investment. It's not, it's not, yeah, it's not like we have to pay rent. <laughs> Too, but still, a coin at our first mission. It's fine. We'll just start with zero coin. We're good. <laughs> no coin. Cool. Not so food. you can mark mark the rates as having a plus one status with them. Okay, are they crim- and, uh, criminal underworld? Obviously, yeah, they're criminal underworld. Oh, that's right. We're gonna need a workshop. Yeah. Okay, uh, what's their, their what's tier, their tier two hold? and weak? Oh yeah, they tier removed fair weak. hold. Nah, because it's hold. just like a group of thieves. All right. So what next? What's next? Back to crew. We need to choose a special ability. Ghost market. <clears throat> Hang on. No, no, no conversation. We're choosing Ghost Market. There will be a conversation because I want to see. What no, we're choosing Ghost Market. No, no, let's sit down. No, we're we're choosing Ghost Market. So, guys, what do you think we should take? What other options than Ghost Market do we have? Well, there's Ghost Market, and then there's also Ghost Market. What? Why would we want Ghost Market over all the other options we have? To sell to ghosts. I mean, I'm not sure That's ghosts is a viable market, you know. It's not We're really selling a... to ghosts. Even though it's a growing market. We're it's... selling to ghosts. Let's here's hear the trick, what... though. Here's the, here's the issue with that. Ghosts don't pay in coin. Yeah, they pay with other stuff. We just have to decide what they pay with. You know, feel... if we get silver tongues, we can add plus one action rating to command, consort, or sway. And that's, that's a choice each of us can make individually. Command ghosts. what or sway? Command, Command consort, consort or sway? But sway. that's boring. That's just like mm, stat buffs. No. <laughs> Alright. We we'll start off with Ghost Market. <laughs> yes. Are we sure? I I'm, feel we I'm, could. I'm, I'm more interested in selling to human people, but. Yeah. The human like, folk. But we can get some ghosts in there as well and expand our operation. And also, yes. what are ghost drugs? I, I linked all the drugs. Were there any ghosts? I've read them before, but were there any? Uh, yeah, yeah, but, but we, we've just adapted them to be usable by ghosts. <laughs> ghosts need drugs too. Yes. Amazing. I think they pay us in reconnaissance, TBH. We just <laughs> sent them to, like, yeah, they could just survey Wait, the land for I us. Can't... No, but. If we sell to ghosts, how the fuck am I supposed to hunt them? <laughs> when they don't pay up? You have ghost bullets. You have actual ghost bullets. Yeah. Ah, yes, the most well, dangerous game. Ghost. What? Yeah, so yeah, ghosts, they can, like, survey the land for us. Uh, they, they they pay us with favors, basically. Can we make our cohort just give them the quality what ghosts? What type of favors? Uh, ghost blowjob, ghost What kind you want, whoa, baby? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> It's just fucking. I wish I had an insert gif of Dan Aykroyd getting his zipper unbuttoned from Ghostbusters. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is assign crew upgrades. You start with two pre selected and you get two additional. Oh, so nice. we. Ass- oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because we have, we have one in secure and one in trading resolve. Uh. Selected already, so let's see. Crew upgrades. Uh, we could oh get workshop. 
Yeah, you guys will need. Oh workshop. yeah, workshop. Yeah, yeah we'll that, get workshop. The, um, important. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What was the other one we started with? Resolve and yeah, we have secure and resolve. Secure and resolve. Yeah. Um, so our lair has a workshop. Taking a workshop. Yeah, we have one more thing to assign. I um actually give me a moment to think as well. We could get elite thugs. Those we could nice. get um. Or we could get, I don't know, quality supplies. We could get quarters so we can all reside at the base. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah workshop and quarters, I'm okay with that. Okay, so. Fine. <clears throat> I need to pick something up for you. Ah. Okay. A gentleman by the name of Lur Lord Skurlock has be is was interested in your upbringing and helped you get your workshop. He funded your workshop for you, so you get plus one status with Lord Lord Skurlock. Nice. And at your option, you can spend one coin to repay their kindness and get plus two status. But you ain't got no coin. Yeah. So is that city institutions, Lord Skurlock? Uh, I don't think so. Let me check. Uh-huh. Do you think we can have, like... It's like, do you think... Oh, ooh. Can Hoxley, a smuggler, our contact, do you think he might be, like, a member of the race? Yeah, Lord Skurlock is part of the Underworld. All He's right. a tier three with Stronghold. Okay. So I think Hoxley is pro. If you yeah. want some... Tier background. Three, Lord say. Skurlock here. Let me find him. Lord Skurlock, here we go. An ancient noble, said to be immortal like the Emperor, possibly a vampire or sorcerer. He is obsessed with the occult. Okay, there you go. You'd get on with him, Neo. What? Yeah. I say again, what was his um, tier and hold? He's tier three with stronghold. Tier three strong, okay. Yeah, his uh, his descriptors are uh, enigmatic, cold, arcane, and old fashioned. <laughs> he is an individual, but is so powerful he's considered a faction. And you wanna know why he built our workshop? Because we sell to ghosts. But here's the weird thing: if ghosts he is are so immune- good, why are they dead? Yeah. And here's the interesting thing about Skurlock, though: he's immune to spirits. Ghosts can't see him, hear him, or harm him. He makes no sound when he moves, and is sometimes difficult to look at directly. Nice. Be weird. Yeah. But can right. bullets hit him? So, the other thing is one faction was screwed over when you took... when you What was the upgrade you got? Housing? Quarters. quarters. Quarters, yeah. So you fucked someone over when you got quarters. And we Who built beds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those beds could have gone to someone else. Uh, what other guys to honor? Us. Can we just choose anyone? Uh, yeah. One. F- well, I mean, it used to make sense. But somebody got pissed off that you claimed more of the building for. To sleep oh, in. which. What was. What gang's honor? Um. So on page 283, it starts. Okay. <laughs> I, hmm. I have an idea. Okay. When, we were getting our beds, when we were getting our beds, all right, we just, like, happened to, like, wander into a place where, uh, where, where, where like, a really, like, choice interview was going on with the Ink Rakers, and we just scared off their contact, and now all Again. the journalists are mad at us. Again? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the Ooh. journalists liked us last time. It was the engineers, that, it was the electricians that didn't like us. Well, how about the Lamp Blacks? What are those? The former Lamplighter Guild turned to cry when their surfaces were replaced by electric lights. <laughs> oh, fucking up their life even more. Like, oh, lads, we're finally getting beds. Wait, what are oh, our beds? Oh, actually, you know who no. would make We pissed off Ironhook Prison, because that's where we stole the beds from. <laughs> 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 oh yes, I like that actually. <laughs> That's really dumb. 
No, you, I have no. One of my shady friends is a jailbird. He could have gotten them for us. <laughs> oh, <and> also, <laughs> heads out of oh, prison. Also, also, <laughs> no, it's not and, even. Hey, and one of our crew contacts is a smuggler. So, yeah. No, actually, question: Is this the, the crimp? Is it like the actual prisoner bed, or is it like the fucking uh, the guys who work the guards' beds we stole? <laughs> No, no, it makes sense, because we didn't pay for it with coin. We just had our contacts help us, so we just had my jailbird friend and uh, our blue coat friend and our smuggler friend just help us fucking smuggle wait, beds. Wait, oh my, prison. no, wait, but the Dimmer sisters, housebound recluses with an occult reputation, it's their house, and we claimed <laughs> another room of it. Mm -hmm. I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> yeah, no. Our roommates. No, about, all, right, all right, this is the worst possible suggestion so far. What about just citizenry? <laughs> no. No. We, I, 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 I think that doesn't make sense. It's just yeah. not yeah, actually, because we just stole it. Because it says it's not the whole town. It's like it's six towers citizenry. So we just nick the beds from. <laughs> no, oh. no. I just found the best one. All okay. Right. The brigade. The firefighters of the city. It's a fire hazard. All those beds. They shouldn't be in there. <laughs> <laughs> They're blocking the fire escape. They've given us multiple citations. <laughs> it doesn't really count as us fucking them over, though. No, I, I like this the prisoner really idea. Weird. All right. Uh, I like the prison. I, li I, li yeah, I, I like the prison. But here's the question. Like I said, is it the actual prisoner beds we prison stole, or is it like, oh fashion, god? No. No, Iron Hook Prison is though. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Iron Hook too. But like, like I said, is yeah. it the prisoner beds we stole, or is it the actual guards that the that works their beds? I don't know. We just stole beds from Iron Hook Prison. That that's it, and we fixed them off. <laughs> I like that it was you stole guard beds. Could have been okay. easier just stealing prisoner beds, but no guard beds. It could have been right. easier to get beds uh, in any I number see. of ways than <laughs> than like pulling them from a prison. Well, we don't have money to buy beds, so we smuggled <laughs> them out the of prison. prison? Um, I think it, it's on page. It's on page two eighty four under meant, inspectors. Like, yeah, I thought you meant like physically oh. in the map. Uh, it's. Uh... I think it's three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, it, it's right. Yeah, it's right there. It's not far off where we are. We are in the Charlo Char Hollow, right? Or oh, what? No, no, no. We're, oh, we're, we're over there. Power. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing. We hold we hold them across several districts of Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We it pissed makes... off the prison. Okay? Just drop it, Snake. We pissed off the prison. Accept it. They'll be like, oh you Alright, what's their what are the, what category are they under? City institutions? <laughs> yeah, that's a city institution. What tier and hold? Oh, Jesus Christ, four strong? Nice. Of course, of course it is. Of course, <laughs> we got a tier four strong group who are like, what, what are they gonna do? They don't fuck it. <laughs> you do realize when we get sent to Ironhook prison when we're arrested, right? Well, we, so we just get, don't get arrested. You get minus two status with them. Mm. Oh, that's good. We're one step away from a prison declaring war on us. <laughs> we haven't even started playing yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to do some. Well, if I'm ever arrested, I'll have to do some faction relations from the inside to fix that. All right. So let's see here. So now you have to choose a contact who is a close friend, longtime ally, ally, or partner in crime. Just like amongst our contacts, we have we um, choose the one, one who is our the, closest. Uh, the crew she the crew has contacts. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, I like Hoxley, Tbh, a smuggler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Where are Coxley they? helps us out a lot. Uh, crew con under Hawker's crew con contacts. Hawksley a smuggler. I think he's our best friend. I think he helps us out a lot. <laughs> he helped smuggle us those beds. When no one else would. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you take the smuggler. But here's the issue. He has stolen quite a bit from the hive and has burned them on some deals. Oh Take boy! Minus two reputation with the hive. Wonderful. They oh boy! Organization. Yeah. 
They're the tier four criminal organization. <laughs> yeah, two, we tier did. Four we tried not to piss off. <laughs> yeah, they, the hive is tier four and strong. Wonderful. Lovely. Aren't we on their territory? Well, so here's the thing about the hive their territory, many shops, taverns, cafes, warehouses, and other mercantile establishments all across the city. No centralized headquarters. Golly. Okay, we're just going to be playing this on hard mode, I see. Let's do this. <laughs> Kinda. And let's see here. Hoxley, because he's a smuggler. Hmm. Let's give you Oh, here we go. <clears throat> take a take a plus one with the Foghounds. He he was originally part of the Foghounds and still carries good contact with them. Uh let's see, the Foghounds are a tier one uh weak. They're shit. That's good. Are they criminal? Yeah. Okie dokie. Well, I'm arranging our contacts by strength and um, relation. So, so far, Lord, Sc Lord Scurlock likes us um, because he made a workshop for us, and that's why he likes us. The Wraiths are cool with us because we gave them money. The Foghounds are cool with us because we're cool with a guy, and the Hive despises us because we're cool with a guy. They're also way stronger. Oh, yeah. and we stole beds from a prison. Yeah. yeah good job. Mm. So let's see here. You guys don't have a gang or anything, right? No cohorts? I don't think so. Alright. We need our own, like, skinny Pete and them. And so I believe that is it. Your gang has been created. We haven't named them yet. We haven't named them yet, that's true. <sighs> oh, okay. We're Ecto we're Ecto Drug Incorporated. LTD. Come on, you can do better than that. I can, but I'm getting zero response here. I'm getting zero input back. Find drugs in... Uh oh. Um... So Wait, I no. Uh, uh, D4, dark drugs don't die. <laughs> don't do dark drugs. <laughs> do dark drugs! <laughs> <gasps> um, dank drugs don't die. Delish drugs. Dank drugs dropped daily. Unbanshee. <laughs> that was a perfect. See, where's the list of those drugs? Because you can probably make a good pun. Um, I feel like all right. The the drugs. The good drugs. Um, definitely, we make black lotus and dream smoke. But um, I I, I could see making you know the others too. You guys could literally call yourselves the black lotus. Hmm. The dark lotus. The drug lotus. The no hue lotus. Drugs for you. Sweet, that's terrible. I know. Um. Let's see. You guys are you guys are held up in six towers. Yeah. Yes. Six towers sources. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Drugs are us. No, Swede, that's terrible. 
<laughs> Se- all right, the seventh tower. <laughs> oh. oh, I like it. Considering we're selling drugs to ghosts, I also recommended Sky High, but no one cared. Death Store. That's good. Yeah, I like the more I think about that, I like that. Because, you know, with ghosts too, and just, you know, the potency. Oh, yeah, drugs are us. <laughs> Pandora's. I vote for Death Store. That, that's our label, that's our brand. Blades in the drugs. <sighs> Dark drug. Dang. Drug drug. Drug sauce. Um, <laughs> drug sauce. Drug born. <laughs> drug drug drug. Drug ruler. Names are hard. Dude, names are so hard. I I still like Death Store. Wraith and the lads. Wraith and the lads. Dragula. Dragula. Selling drugs to ghosts. The Red Ghost Brotherhood. Oh, there you go. Demon Tears. Ha. That's a little much. That's not bad. Death's Door is probably the front runner at the moment. <laughs> oh, you guys could be a syndicate. <laughs> Let's not think about Assassin's Creed at the moment. Ha. 99 Drug Store. <laughs> Grove Street. Grove Street. Dead Eyes. It's from all the drugs. Dead Eyes. Oh, okay, okay. I've been talking this entire time, but yeah, Death's Door. I voted for that. Right. I changed Death's it. Death's Door it is. I, I, it's official. I already made it official. Okay. okay. So... Very good. Periodic shadows. <sighs> We're death store. Okay. And that's it. Gang. Done. All right. That's a gang created. Hashtag created. So, do you guys want to do a quick mission or? Uh, no, I don't think we have the time uh, for that. I think okay. Swede's gonna go like. Bump into Sweet. a river. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really feeling. Three's gonna go hunt the most dangerous game. I'm not really feeling up for doing it. Sure. That tonight now. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Have you gotten any ideas for Hemlock characters yet, Eric? 